bone tumors come in all varieties, both malignant and benign. The benign bone tumors are much more common uh, than the malignant tumors. Uh, malignant bone tumors we tend to see in, uh, in a younger population, typically teenagers, uh, in both boys and girls. Uh, benign bone tumors stretch across all age groups, from, from newborns to, to very old people and everything in between. Each tumor is unique and has a particular behavior. The majority of these tumors are benign, uh, and so if the area that is involved is relatively small, um, the patient is not having any symptoms, and the risk of, of that breaking spontaneously is very low. Most of the time, these patients are, are simply observed, and we will get routine x-rays in the office and, and make sure that it's not getting any bigger. A lot of bone tumors uh, cause no symptoms at all. If uh, bone tumors do become symptomatic, typically patients will present either with an unexplained pain, uh, and typically it will present as a dull, uh, aching pain. Uh, initially, people may only notice it at nighttime, at bedtime. When someone presents with a bone tumor, the, the first thing that you have to do is you need to, to stage the tumor, which means that you need to find out the true extent of the tumor, whether if it's confined only to bone or whether it, it extends to the soft tissues. And that's determined by multiple uh, types of imaging. That includes plain x-ray, uh, a CT scan to better look at the architecture of the bone. You use an MRI to, to delineate the soft tissue extent uh, of the tumor and, and how far it extends in the bone marrow. And then a bone scan is, a, is an imaging modality that we typically use to look at the whole skeleton to make sure that this isn't some kind of process that's involving multiple different bones. And in the majority of cases, with those four imaging studies alone, you typically will have enough information to, to make a diagnosis. And in, in many cases of bone tumors, if they're benign, most of the time you don't even need a biopsy and, and these patients can just be monitored with routine office visits, physical exams, and, and x-rays.